This is Jim Emter, Van Ana Company, Alexandria, Minnesota, with your closing grain and livestock comments for March 31st, 2021. And what a day it was. Corn market up 25 cents. Beans up 70 cents. Chicago wheat up 16 and a quarter. Minneapolis up nine. Kansas City up 17 and a quarter. So big day, big bold news from USDA. They came in with a 91.144 million acre planting for corn. That was just over 2 million acres less than the market was anticipating. Came in with an 87.6 million acre planting for soybeans. Uh, that was pretty close to uh, 2.4 million less than the market was anticipating. Uh, all wheat came in at 46.358. That was actually up 1.3, 1.4 million acres versus expectation. And the rest is history. Uh, the market exploded on corn and beans. Wheat followed and it was a good day. Corn stocks came in at 7.701. Uh, that was about 49 million bushel below expectation. Soybeans came in at 1.564. That was a little bit above expectation and wheat came in at 1.314, a bit above expectation. But for beans and wheat, not enough to offset. For corn, reiterates a tighter scenario. And again, big limit up days. Ex potential for expanded limits up tomorrow, so it should be another wild day. Uh, feeder cattle up 290, or down 295, again, with a strong corn market. Feeders broke today. Live cattle up 67 and a half, hogs up 12 and a half. So just kind of back forth action. Grains taking the highlight. Cattle and hogs kind of left in the backdrop. And again, we'll see what happens tomorrow. This has been Jim Emter, Van Ana Company, Alexander, Minnesota. Trading futures and options involves risk of loss and is not suitable for all producers. Past performance is not indicative of future results. This is a solicitation. Have a great afternoon.